Hi, I'm Green T, and T is for Tesla. Hi, I'm Jeremy Snyder here at Tesla Motors in Los Angeles, and you're watching Green T with Tamara. Bradford Rand, the president and CEO of the Go Green Expo and this Eco Forum here at Tesla. So tell us, what gave you the idea to have this whole event? Well, my team and I decided to create an executive networking event where there's not going to be a whole bunch of people looking for jobs or trying to sell you anything. Just a series of executives and founders and eco entrepreneurs people that can actually take action and make things happen. I'm coming from it from the perspective of those hundreds of millions of people who come to Yahoo every month and how can we get as many of those folks to be taking green actions in their own lives. And so uh, Yahoo Green launched about two and a half years ago with, in conjunction with one of our biggest uh, brand campaigns. And then I took it over about a year ago. We developed a, a cocktail reception basically just for those types of people, and it works. We're catching up with Rebecca Mink of Mink Shoes, and what brings you out tonight? Um, doing things for the environment and animals, right. definitely, but then second is fashion for me. Right. And a Tesla is very fashionable, is it not? Yes, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the electric car, but I really think that um, I'm a big fan of design in general because I'm a designer, and I've been really into the car because of that aspect. And tell me about your shoes. My shoes are made with no animal products at all, so they're completely vegan. And they have, um, they've been all made of sustainable materials, recycled materials, no petroleum, and recycled hardware, and whatever else I can find. We're talking to Sophie Giuliano of Gorgeously Green, and we, we realized that we knew each other from the EMA Awards, right? That's right, and I saw you with that absolutely stunning glow. Oh, Earth, walking around with this amazing dress on, looking very ethereal. It was the Mother Earth with a little crown on top, the Miss America crown. It was beautiful. You looked amazing. Because just like you're gorgeously green, we have our eco contest. It's interactive, and it's called Green is Gorgeous. Great. That's wonderful. Now, what do, what do, what do people have to do? For the contest, what you is go it? online and you it's interactive. You get to watch all the contestants talk about what being green means to them. I'm Sarah Slocum, Miss Arkansas, and you're watching Green Tea with Tamara. Green is gorgeous, and what does being green mean to you? Mm -hmm. And then you get to vote for the one who you think is the most green is gorgeous. And this is contestants who are in the uh, in the 2010 Miss America pageant. Oh, great, that's fantastic. I can't wait to see right. that. Miss America's going green, and we're helping them go green and be interactive, and it's fun, and it educates everyone while you're, I mean, it's like a learning experience. Yes. You get to learn from the brightest contestants in the Miss America, that scholarship pageant where they're all studying to be doctors and lawyers, and they sing and they dance and all that, so. That's, that is fantastic. <laughs> Good for you. So how for you is green gorgeous? Oh, gorgeously green. I wrote the book, Gorgeously Green. It came out two years ago. My second book is called The Gorgeously Green Diet, which is out this year. And then I have another book coming out next year. And <laughs> Gorgeously Green um, is really how to be green, but also how to lead an incredibly gorgeous, easy, accessible life. Because I think as women, we are so powerful. We can and should and want to make a difference. However, we still want to get our hair dyed, our nails painted, wear gorgeous clothes. There are some things you just have to no, do. There are some things you can't give up. And absolutely, you have to do. And so my mission was to find a way of life for myself and then share it with other people, whereby this is absolutely possible. I have the perfect way you can share it with other people. You ought to give all of your books to the winner of our eco yes. contest. Green is gorgeous yes, winner. It is true. So are you going to start having this like periodically, maybe once a year or something? We're actually going to do it on a quarterly basis in New York and in Los Angeles. And at the same time, we do the big Go Green Expos, which are the nation's leading eco-friendly trade shows in New York, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and Los Angeles. And Los Angeles, and that's coming up at the end of January. Yes. We're all anticipating the big Go Green Expo in the Los Angeles Downtown Convention Center, right? Exactly, yes. Uh, it'll feature Ed Begley, Marielle Hemingway, and over 250 booths. Over 200, over 200 media showed up last year, and 10,000 people. So we're hoping for even more awareness to all the 
latest and greatest green products that you can buy that will make less of an impact on our Earth on a day-to-day -day basis. And the biggest thing about the, the Tesla is how efficient it is. Now, the, you know, um, the average car you're driving now is anywhere from 18 to 22 percent efficient, which means of all the gas that's in the tank, only about 20 percent of it actually gets to the wheels to push the car forward. All the rest is wasted in inefficiencies. But with the Tesla, it's 88 to 92 percent efficient. So all the, all the power that's in that battery gets the wheels to push the car forward. We're not wasting anything. And that's where the true benefit for the environment really is. We're not going to waste a bit. Okay, now give me the beginner's course 101 on Tesla. What's under the hood? Well, it's all electric. There's no gas. It it's, goes zero to 60 quicker than a Ferrari 430 and is twice as efficient as a Prius. Whether it's eco-fashion <laughs> or a lovely eco sports car like the Tesla, there is always something that you can choose that's more eco-friendly. So the clothes you wear, the car you drive, the food you eat, and probably the people you hang out with, there is always a more eco-friendly alternative. <laughs> exactly. So I just wanted to tell you, um, oh, my wow factor tonight is that I've been carless for nine years. Right, I heard about that, that's terrific. <laughs> well, I'm basically carless because I live in New York City, and New York City, uh, the residents are probably the least carbon footprint type of people there are because there's great mass transit, and that's what LA really lacks, right. an effective mass transit system. Can you imagine if there was a subway here, there'd be no traffic jams, right. and there'd be a lot less pollution. So, You're not going to believe this, but on the way here tonight, the traffic was so slow on Santa Monica Boulevard yep. that I had to get out and I was carpooling and I had to get out and walk like the last two blocks because it was literally quicker to get here to walk here than to drive. It was yep. like gridlock right there on Santa Monica Boulevard. That is the result of bad urban planning. You know, uh, New York was, was ahead of its curve there and a lot of other cities are. And maybe one day in our lifetimes, uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll see a mass transit system here, and there needs to be one, so. And that's what we're doing here at the Eco Forum is solving our common problems, exactly. and we're gonna have a lot more of that coming up at the Go Green Expo at the end of January at the uh, Los Angeles Convention Center. So we'll be seeing you there, Bradford. Absolutely, and for details, you can go to gogreenexpo.com and see all the speakers, all of the companies, and, uh, and all the excitement that's gonna come at the end of January. Thank you, Bradford, and make sure to go to gogreenexpo.com.